Many years ago, uh, my dad ran various small steel factories and the like, and he briefly took over a small magnet-making factory, and he gave me a handful of magnets that they made, so most of them little ones, but one of them was this giant horseshoe magnet with a keeper, so it's painted red, it's like the magnet that you'd have in a cartoon with some wavy lines coming out of it to show magnetism with the keeper on the bottom. And this has become known in my house. It sits on a shelf, out of reach for the most part. It's called Danger Magnet, because it's so strong that if you hold the magnet and the keeper, that's the bit that you put across the two poles, if you bring them together and you've got your finger in the way, at about that distance, it suddenly goes bang on your finger. And I've only done it once, and it hurts like hell. It's so strong, and it's so strong that Actually, it's quite a risky thing to handle. I know that sounds stupid, it's just a magnet. This is a train, which is running on electric motors, which rely on the principle of magnetism and the electromotive force to work. We could thank uh, Tesla and uh, Westinghouse for a lot of the work on that. I think that's right, isn't it? Yes. Anyway, where was I on? Yes, this, this is a danger magnet. Is It is only a magnet, it doesn't sound very threatening, but it is so strong that you do actually have to handle it quite carefully. Because if you stride past the fridge, which is made of mild steel, and therefore very magnetic, with this thing in your hand, you'll be walking normally, and then bang, your arm is attached to the fridge. Um, if you get anything stuck on danger magnet, it's very difficult to get it off. A paper clip, or especially anything like uh, metal filings, if they're on there, you, you, you're not going to get them off. You're not going to be able to pull them off with your fingers. It's impossible. It's so powerful. I think it may actually be slightly affecting the rotation of the Earth and interfering with time itself. It's why I haven't aged as much as my colleagues. Oh!